Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to be working on this Rampage XT. It has some driveline issues. Along the way we're going to also fix a hole in the tire with maybe some silicone and we're going to replace the pull start because it's been kind of wearing, wearing out. The driveline issues, we're unaware of what's causing them, but we're going to take it apart, figure it out, put it back together, and hopefully fix this thing. So let's get started. All right, we're going to tear this sucker down and figure out what's wrong with it. Well, we already ran into a problem. One of the wheels will not come off, so we're gonna to have to do some surgery. It's gonna take a little longer than we thought. We finally got the wheel off. It was plastic welded to the hub. Can you see down in there? Wow, look at that. It took us pretty much cutting it off. Banging on it with a screwdriver and a so hammer. and We're gonna have to trim some of this up to get it back on there because there's no way it's gonna go on there. But while we have it off, let's go ahead and try to fix the drivetrain issue. Rolling coal. <laughs> so many rolling coal. Yeah, I think it's putting it to the metal. All right, let's try to get this thing fixed. That's a pain in the butt just to get one wheel. We gotta figure out why this sucker is not turning. I mean, it looks like everything's turning. All the all four wheels are turning, but when you put a pressure to it, when it's on the ground, it actually has to take off under load. The front wheels don't turn, or very slightly. So we have to figure out where the gearing's messed up or where the uh, grub screw's messed up. So we're gonna dig into this. Let's get at it. Hey, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because 90% of the people watching the videos on our channel are not subscribed. We want to grow our family, so if you like the content, make sure you subscribe. So I pulled out the grub screw. It's kind of dirty down in there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Can you get down in there? Yeah. There's a, a hole right there, and I don't think it was on it correctly. Mm -hmm. See yeah. when I spin the shaft with my finger. Yeah, I don't it, think it was in in so the me, hole it should be. Yeah. So hold on, let me spin it back around. See right there. Oh yeah. You can tell the difference. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna torque that grub screw back down in there. I'm gonna clean the hole out a little bit. Do it. Do it. So we're gonna go ahead and put this blue Loctite on it. Thread lock, Loctite. Okay, so I got the Loctite on it. Now I'm gonna to try to carefully cinch this thing down. Man, if you can look down in there, you can see how much farther it is down into the groove where it wasn't but that one is much and it's tight much better than it was and it's real tight good so let me start putting the, this thing back together yep and see if it works we're gonna put it back together and 
See if it works. See if it works. So Jimmy was doing his thing. We had a couple holes in the tires, so I went ahead and put some adhesive, silicone adhesive on this. And once it's dried, I'll rub all this excess off. But it should seal up the holes, so that way you don't get a lot of uh, excess air coming out of the tire. Okay, so just like on the original orange HPI Baja buggy I have, we need to replace the pull starter because, if you can see, it's lost its little metal ring. I don't know if you can see that, yep, it's where it's like tearing into this, and I'm afraid it's going to cut the rope and cause problems. So we've got another one right here. We're just going to take, just like in the other video, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click up here in the top corner, and we'll link it for you. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's put the new one on. Looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Does it pull? Does it stay? Oh, yeah, good? it pulls. Cool. Nice. All right, let's throw this thing back together. Actually, we need to fix a wheel. Actually, the last thing we need to do is fix this wheel where it was tore up. We need to kind of clean it up on the inside a little bit and see if we can't get it to fit. I'm going to use a blade and see if I can't clean a little bit of this out. That's okay, don't worry about that one. All right, we got the wheels on. Now we're going to put the body on. Let's fire this sucker up, see if it rips. I'm not going to do it with the body on. Okay, no body. <laughs> Here we go. That's it right there. Man, those front wheels turn just like they should now. Let's go wake the neighbors. Okay. All right, it is the next day. We're now at a new field. Uh, we're testing it out and see if we like it. But we got everything ready to go. So let's get to ripping. Come on, Spencer, now we got it fixed. Sucker is so loud. They like that shit. We're going to race them.
That was awesome. Yeah. That was fun. Uh, we've ripped it pretty good here at this field. Uh, we're going to go look for some more spots just to test out. Hopefully we'll find one that is even better. So tell us how what you think. Which one do you like better? Do you like the black Rovan buggy or the Red Cat Rampage XT? Tell us in the comments what you like. Which one's better? Now we know which one's faster, but which one do you like better? Now let's go find us another place to rip. All right, we found another spot to rip. As you can see, there's more of a hill here. It's not flat. We may even have a jump we're gonna try. So let's get to ripping. Uh-oh. We got a problem. It's not engaging at all. Looks like we're having some technical difficulties. The starter that we just put on is not engaging. So we gotta figure out why. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna diagnose this, and we do have one more starter. If we need to, we'll throw it on, but we're not gonna let this stop us. All right, we had trouble with the pull start. We replaced it, it's working now, but now the stupid thing just won't start. We tried for about an hour to get it started, but it's not gonna start. If you have any suggestions of why it won't start, you just keep pulling and pulling and it doesn't, it doesn't start. We've tried adjusting the needles, uh, we've tried uh, removing the spark plug in case it was flooded. Uh, we just kept pulling and pulling to see if it would work itself out. Didn't happen. So if you have any suggestions, throw them down in the comments. But we're not going to let this time go to waste, so we're going to rip the Rovan to have some fun. So stick with us.
was awesome. I love it. Seems like every time we bring them out, we break something. bit of damage but that's okay we can we can pop it right back on just the arm came off popped it right back on We lost a wheel. Where'd that come from? All right, let's go find it. Well, today was fun, but it was an eventful day. We got, we lost a red cat and we lost the wheel. We lost, well, we didn't lose the wheel. We lost the lug nut to the wheel. We can't find it, so we're going to have to order another one. It's possibly we need just to order a couple anyway. Just had some extras, but we had a blast. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and hit that like button. With that said, we're out of here, so God bless you, God bless America, be empowered out.